gotta go get some paper. But see what a beautiful view it is. It's beautiful in the valley today. Beautiful day to be out here working. It's not that tall, so I think that's going to be enough paper. All right, there we go. Hard to remember everything. Stainless steel screws, stainless steel washers, drill bit, screwdriver, charge my batteries. ways up here especially when you have to do it 10 times a day I need an elevator at least this ladder is at an angle those ladders that they have for the scaffold are vertical they go straight up this is a little bit easier being that it's a little bit vertical right there Let's go look at it. Well, let's go up one more level. Come on. Let's go. Let's go up here to the top. Here to the top. I'm going to put this stuff up there and then untie my ladder because I'm going to need to untie my ladder to get up on the top. I'm going to need to use this ladder here. Make sure you use a good sturdy ladder for something like this. This is, ladder here is underrated for me. I, I am, I mean, not, not 100%. I mean, I'm exactly right at the limit on this aluminum ladder here. And when I carry tools, then I'm over the limit. There's a plane. It's right by the airport out here. I think I'll untie that later. Right now, I want to get up here on the top and show you guys this view of the valley, valley floor. Isn't that pretty? That's Pleasance Valley Road. It runs along that right there. That mountain range right there. That's Mount Vaca. There's a church that was built about 10 years ago. That church was built out there. And uh, you can see Markham, Markham Street is over there on that little hill right there. There's that round house. Okay, so what we gotta do, we gotta get on the back of this bad boy and uh, laugh back here somewhere. I can't even see it from here. So uh, I'm just too scared. I'm too scared to walk on the roof. Except I did, I did throw this plank here. So I can at least go out to that roof right there and go over here to, to this roof. Oh, like, that's got to be crazy. Okay, so now we have to do this. We have to do this fireplace and this fireplace right here. I haven't been on this roof yet. It's a tall fireplace. We gotta do the back of this one too. See that copper metal coming up on the sides here? I don't know why they don't have a piece right there though. They're missing a piece of copper metal that goes right there. And then on the back, it's the same thing that we have to do over on that one. And of course, this one here. Now this fireplace here, what's gonna happen is they're gonna get a lift. The homeowner's gonna get a lift. And he's gonna cantilever me, cantilever me over the roof. 
to reach that. And I'm gonna do the lath and a scratch coat over there at one shot. And then we're gonna turn around, come over here on this side and set up. And then he's gonna kind of leave me, kind of lever me over right here. And we're gonna lap this and scratch it and be done. Done with this guy here. But it's such a beautiful day. So let's get back over here. We here would have put a guardrail there. Kind of scary. Kind of scary going back. Okay. Here we go. I need to get a guardrail there. Hmm. Okay, so let's get my material back there so that I don't have to come back out here. I will have to come back out to get the wire though, but if I can get this trim on, uh, at least I'll be happy with that. So what I'm gonna do now is kick this guy here over. Uh -huh. I'm gonna use this plank right here. So I can there. I'm not going to need that. I will need the paper. Let's get this paper here. Back there. Or at least somewhere over here. Somewhere over here with the paper. Hmm. Yeah. Here's my hand tacker. Okay, and I got staples. Okay. Alright. So, there's that. What else do I want to take out? How about my, how about my axe? Put my axe over there. I nailed this paper down here the other day because it was going to be so windy last night. Uh, I might need that paper, so now I know I've got enough paper between these two. So now, in this bag here is my drills and good, all my stainless steel screws and washers and whatnot are there. Okay, so you can see how I'm prolonging the inevitable here, because I really don't want to have to go up over there except for the view. <laughs> I like the view. Actually, I think there's a better view on the outside of this fireplace than there is on the back side of it, because on the back side of it, I'm going to have to be sitting down I'm not going to have the luxury of dancing like I am on this side of the fireplace. Let's use this ladder here to get up and over the fireplace. So see this, I don't like this hole. This hole right here. Maybe they'll catch me if I fall off the edge of the fireplace here so now it doesn't seem so scary okay okay so here we go make sure this ladder is stable okay I might mess up this flashing on the front but so be it now one more thing I'm gonna take this bag off I wore it up here just to get it up here but I'm gonna take it off now because Really not going to need it for much, I don't think. I'll need that knife right there to cut the paper. Uh, it's my tin snips to cut the stucco stop. But all my screws are in that bag right there. And I won't be doing too much nailing, I don't think. Just for grins and giggles, I'll tie this ladder in a little bit.
they didn't put any studs in it when they framed it. They just put studs, two by fours coming up the corner. And then the field of this is just a one sheet of plywood all the way across. I'm just kidding, that's not really what it is. It's just sometimes when I can't seem to find a stud in the wall, I hit every place except for where there is a stud. I know I've got a mark down there on the bottom coming all the way up and I believe this is balloon framing. So. All right, enough of this tomfoolery. Let's get up here and over there. Oh, great, I wonder what that was. No, I don't like doing this. <laughs> I do not like doing this. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of work to plaster this. Now, right here, I'm looking at this corner. This piece of metal needs to come in here a little bit. I bet I can get a nail there. It's kind of a horrible cut I got going on right here. I really couldn't couldn't uh, do anything about it because of the way it was. A little, I could feel that it was a little bit long, but uh, I just couldn't reach over at the time to get a nice cut on it. So I just kind of did the best I could. These are good with snips, but they have their idiosyncrasies. Let's see. It looks like that's going to be good for the next piece. Except it's going the wrong way. It's going, I need all this wire to be able to wrap around. I can't cut any of that off. Now, I can cut some of this off, though. And some of this. There. I can go back this way. Oh, I'm getting it. Looking good. Oh, all right. Now I'm getting a nail in there. Should probably have a safety harness on up here. But um, throwing caution to the wind, even though, see, there is no wind today. So I didn't even come out yesterday. It was so windy. I want to get this to sit a little bit flatter here. See it bent in it, or I hit it with the axe. Kind of make it come out a little bit. There we go. Now, okay, so let's see, let's see. Bits of pain, get my knife. I want a sharp knife too. One of these knives is sharper than the other. Oh yeah, we want to use this one here. One knife, sharp knife on this. Okay. What a gorgeous day. You gotta love it out here. It's nice and green. Feels like we don't even have a drought. Of course, we all know that's not true. Put this in a shade someplace. Let's not forget that I put my phone in there. I don't wanna forget it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some bitutane on here. First thing. Try that. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go on down the road. This metal roof is very strong. You can stand on these seams, you can stand here in the valleys. It's really a strong roof.
Alright. Halfway there. Halfway there, buddy. Halfway there. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Okay, what do we got here? Let's look and see. I can go ahead and go over that. That's what I'll do. So watch it here. Watch it here. Okay. Okay. How are we doing on staples? Good. Has a little hole, a little inspection hole right there. So you can see the staples. See the staples in there? Another way to check is to pull that back and look. Okay. Okay. Ah. Let's bring this around the corner here a little bit. I'm conscious of the copper when I'm pounding my staples in. Uh, I'm conscious of that copper being there. What do we got left here on this paper? Is that going to be enough? I think so. Let me see. Best way, I think, is going to be like that. Huh. Okay, so what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to uh, kind of pack it down there in the corner a little bit and then run my knife down in that corner. And in fact, even be a little bit exaggerate about it because uh, it's easier to cut when I, there's more overhanging down in there. It's easier to cut than a thin, little thin piece. <clears throat> and cut this now. Make sure you don't cut that paper on the, coming around the other way on this one. So. Huh. Okay. Okay, looking good, looking good. I put that safety rail on there this morning. Because uh, I was up here earlier and it was kind of scary, you know, not having anything to grab there. Again, being conscientious of the copper, I'm not nailing into it. Okay, there's that. Okay, now let's take our sheet metal here. Spinning around, I gotta do the helicopter. Okay, see I've got those holes drilled in it. These holes weren't in there before I started. I just drilled them out with a little 3 8 inch bit. 3 16 inch bit. Okay, so let me finish working on, uh, I'm gonna do this side here. Okay, like I said I was gonna do, I'm going to cut down in here in this valley. Be careful not to cut that other piece of paper. I'll cut down in this valley. Get that valley on my paper so I know where to cut. There. All right. Pull that out now. Uh, okay. And then measure this up with the piece I got coming around the corner right there. Do a little fancy cut here on the end first to get started. Try to keep it off the roof because it scratches really easy. Put this piece over that. Like that. There you go. I want enough room for water to get out. In case we get a storm, a 100 year storm. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's not bien. That means that that's good if you don't know how to speak Spanish. Uh, it's not bien. It's mucho bien. It's very good. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Now it's nice to uh, come around this corner with the paper here. Wrap that corner here. I think I'm out now. Yep. Okay. So, got some staples here. Wonder how much longer my GoPro is going to last. 
I think it lasts quite a while on a full charge, but I uh, have a fully charged battery in there. So you guys don't miss anything. I know this is so exciting. This is so exciting, and I don't, I don't want you guys to leave me. I don't want to be out here all by myself. You know, I enjoy having you guys come and visit with me. So, uh, let's see if I can dial this in a little better. Uh, uh, okay, I remember where I was now. Let's put the staples in here, right? Okay, that's what I gotta do. I gotta put staples in here. Okay, I was talking too much, see? I gotta pull the spring back and then put the staples in, okay. All right. I'm human, guys, believe it or not. Oh, we oh, gotta remember that uh, flashing down there. That copper flashing. I don't wanna put any staples in it either. Who knows what'll happen? Might, you know, it might have effect on the lighting in the house. All of his components will start coming on or something, you know, in the middle of the night. You know, because of the. 1.4 volts that you can accrue with a little bit of salt water and a combination of galvanized metal and copper. So, once again, if if that is true, then I'd like to see that. I'm not a, an electrician by any means, but I find that intriguing that if if that's true, I mean, I brought some salt with me today, too, you know. I was going to check it out and see, you know, if I could generate some power to charge my phone. So I'm a little bit more than a lather. <laughs> I'm a, a want to be a scientist, an artist, a mother, a father, <laughs> a mother. Well, I am a father. Okay. Here we go. That looks good right there. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. I don't want a stone going down too far right here. I want to have something there, okay? I want to have something there. And I'm gonna go with that right down there, that joint. Show you how you can do this a little bit quicker here without having to fight it like I did over there. Just make a cut like this and butt it right to the end, buddy. Just butt it right to the end, just like that, okay? It's gonna be fine. He's got mud and his bricks coming down over it. No one is ever gonna see that. And besides, it's not going to look that bad anyway. We're going to cut this button right here. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. Now we want our screw gun. We want another screw or two. There's one. Let's see if I can find a mate. Uh, eight by one inch. I mean, you know, that'll work, but let's see here. Eight by one inch. Eight by inch and a quarter. Okay, that's what we used before. That's the one I want. All right. All right, now, get my drill. Here we go. Okay, right about there. Huh? Right about there. Bring this guy down. Looking good, looking good, all right. Give me a screw, right here. All right. You know, you got to be a mechanic, you know? These are stainless steel screws. Once again, if I haven't told you that already, you cannot use zinc. We well, could, but what will happen is it'll, the zinc will deteriorate because of the copper. It's, the uh, zinc is not nearly as strong as the copper. So the zinc will wear down wouldn't be the end of the world anyway. I don't know why they make such a big issue out of it, but it's true. Ah, come on. Okay. Ah, that's tight. Whew. 
All right, there you go. Now, all we gotta do is put our wire on here, and I make that sound easy, but it's actually, a, 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 again, gonna be a, oh, another 20, 30 minute job. So, but before I go down, before I go down and get some more wire, whew, here, I'm gonna detail these corners right here, I think, I think. I have to, I can't put my wire up here like that. Ugh. So, you know, it's gonna need some TLC here because, uh, because I have to get these washers. See the washers? Okay, let's see here. is exactly what these are for. Now, if you're down on the ground working with this stuff, you're kind of simple, but we're not down on the ground. We're up here three flights in the air and uh, we're on our knees bending down lower than our feet. So it's not a simple task, but it's got to be done. Let's see here. That roof is hot too, baby. Oh no, I missed it. Okay, I'm gonna back it out a little bit and get that get that washer. Come on out a little bit and then get my wire behind it. Pull it taut. Now, how about I get it this time? There you go, buddy. Right on time. Okay. There you go. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, I'll get one here. And I'll just keep working at it until I get it done. You know, until I get it done right. All we gotta do is scratch coat on this thing. Don't have to do the brown and the finish. Don't, we don't have to do the brown and put trim around the top of the fireplace and do a acrylic finish coat and then faux paint it and then seal it. No, we're doing a scratch coat for the masons and then we're getting out of here. Okay, I think I am above the flashing, so from here on up, I can use nails. Woohoo! Hallelujah! All right, there's some nails. There's some nails right here. Huh. You ever see those real lathers <laughs> when they're doing this stuff? They're so fast with their hammer. They make me feel so slow and I have the uh, good guys come out and help me. They're fast, those guys are fast. They don't mess around, you know? This is what they do, this is their life. This is their livelihood here. You know, this is what they do. So, okay, you know what? I have a straight piece of wire over here on this side. You can see that from here. So, I'm gonna get a nail in that one. Somehow, somehow, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. You can see some of my other videos where I have uh, my thumb is healing from smashing it with a hammer. I smashed it one day and then the very next day I smashed it in the same place. Okay, so that takes care of that side. Let's take a look at this other side over here. Doesn't that look nice though? I mean. It's just painted, just painted, uh, painted stucco trim, but uh, has a certain quality about it. Whew. Okay, you know, doing this video, 
is really helping me, you know, because I was I was dreading coming out here and doing this, you know, but doing the video, like I said, it brings us together, it brings us closer together. Anyway, uh, um, you know, I don't have to put the screws in first. I could go ahead and put a couple nails in it and then put the screws in later. So what I do when I when I'm doing this and I don't feel a stud, I'll hit it all the way in so that when I'm stapling with a gun, I know that those ones that are all the all the way in are not a stud. Oh. Okay, now I can get a screw in there. Then we'll go down, get some wire, and come back up and wire it. Okay, here. This takes two hands. In the washer on here. Okay. Almost got it now. Almost got it. Here we go. Slide on down. Get into my position. Okay. Make sure it's on forward. Okay. I love this. I love this Ryobi. The walls are a little too powerful for this kind of stuff. This has high torque at low, low speed. Okay, I guess I gotta use my gloveless hand. Okay, here we go. Let's get one more down here low. Whew. Ah. Okay, here we go. Alright. Okay. Alright. Let's go down and get some wire. Now, you know what we can do? We can measure how much wire I need before I bring too much up. So, I want to go six inches past the corner. No, I can just take it right to the corner. I can just take it right to the corner. Okay, so that dimension is going to be go 69 and then overall length uh, three feet 69 by three feet take my tape measure with me because I'm not sure if I have another one down there or not all right I think my battery's gonna last just just right today I'm gonna get down to my truck over there and uh, you know what I'm just gonna clean that stuff up later I should this is probably a, a bad example don't you guys didn't see that okay you guys didn't see that. Okay, I didn't throw anything off the roof over here. I'm gonna pick that up when I get down anyway. These I'm not. I'm gonna put these in my bag. This trash here, I'm making sure this is trash. Put it in with this other trash here. This is all good stuff here, good stuff. Couple more guys here, okay. Okay, there's uh, more trash. Okay, this, more trash, okay. Now let's go down and get that wire. Should I take something else down with me? What about my phone? Huh? Maybe I should check my messages. See if somebody called. I got two notifications. But when I'm working, you have to wait until I'm done so I can afford to talk to them. Because I got to finish a job so I can afford to pay my cell phone bill. All right, here we go. All right. I can do it. I can do it, man. What's that? Oh, shit. Oh, oh my god. Oh, damn. Oh. I'm just kidding. I wasn't really scared. Okay, what do we need? Six feet, all right? 69 inches, is that what it was? 69 by three feet. We can get another measurement. We can get another measurement. Just measure the front. I wouldn't go any less than 69 inches. You know what, we're gonna need this ladder to get down. I tried getting down without it yesterday and it was almost impossible. So, we're gonna untie it from up here and take it with us to the next level. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
left. Okay. Now, let's put it down over here. All right. So, you know what we have to do here? Is, uh, we gotta get this this plank uh, over that way. We gotta get this. We gotta get this plank over here, over that way. This one. Oh. Well, I don't know why it's been so stubborn. Okay. Um, yeah. Now we gotta take our ladder here and drop her down here. There you go. All right. Now we can go down. Now we can go down with ease, guys. What do you think about that, huh? What do you think about that? And it's slanted too. See, it's not straight vertical. It has a slant. So it's nice to go down. Not when the ladder is our, you know, attached to the scaffold and they're totally vertical. Uh, okay. So six feet by three feet 69 inches by three feet 69 inches three feet you gotta remember that okay go down and get a drink of water it's hot up there dehydrating got that metal roof this job here today. Um, get the wire right now. I think I will. Because of the way I have to run it, I can't just, I could run it straight across. I don't want to scratch the roof either in the process. So, I don't want to scratch this floor here and roll this wire out. You gotta be careful on just about everything around here. You, know? you don't want to start scratching things. You be careful. Okay. So, 69 inches. So, We'll go a little bit further, just for grins and giggles. How about that? Hmm. 24, 69. So, what do you say we go 79 inches? Okay. And then, I don't even know if we should cut it three feet. Maybe not. Go ahead and take the whole thing up. Okay. So what I have over here is a rope to tie this to. Uh, later on, I've got a safety post up there to uh, hang the wheel from. So let's not forget to take these shears with us when we go. Let's not forget to get these shears and take those with us when we go back up. Okay. All right. Almost there. Almost back to the top. Okay, let's take these up there with us. Remember? I'm gonna take these up there to the top. Alright. Boy, that's a hard hat area down there if I ever saw one. Okay. The rope goes all the way up so we can go up to the top and hoist that wire out.
I don't want to go back over there because that was kind of hairy without a safety rail. If I had to go back over there, I'd take one of these safety rails, that one right there, and just put it from here over there. Okay, remember how we get on the back? We gotta get that ladder. Remember? Cause see, I can't jump up here like this. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna step up and over there like that either. If I had a cleat, I could nail it to the wall right there, I would, but certainly not gonna do that. Okay, so I need that ladder. seen uh, films where they're climbing Mount Everest and they use ladders. And I thought they never used ladders. That's kind of cheating, isn't it? Take a ladder up to Mount Everest with you? It's kind of cheating, I think. I think ropes is all you should be allowed to take. Get a rope. On. And uh, I think they've got beer on sale down there at the market on the corner. Coldest beer in town. And that's where we're going when we leave here. You're coming with me too. You're coming with me over there. We're going to celebrate. Huh? <laughs> what are we going to celebrate? You ask? <laughs> How would you guys do this? This is what I want to know. How would you guys do this? Okay. I mean, you can run that like that, all the way down those sides, and then cut out the center, like that, like that, huh? See, I'm scratching the roof. You see that? I've already scratched the roof. That's not good. Okay, so they know what that tells me. I got to do this a different way, a much different way. First of all, I got to flip it over, so I stop scratching this roof. Okay. If I scratch that roof one more time, I am going to be a little upset at myself because I'm better than that. So this is the way I'm going to do it. So I don't scratch the roof. Okay? I'm going to run down like that. I'm run it all the way over. See? It goes all the way over. And then just like when I did the... There goes my tape measure. Just like when I did the paper, I'll cut it along the top. I'll use this piece here, fill in over there, so I don't keep scratching the roof. Okay, so let's get a couple of nails in it. And we'll get that tape measure too.
I didn't want to get started. how we made it to the corner we cut a little bit more in case we had to do it like that you see because we wouldn't have made it with 69 inches remember I think we went something like 73 73 inches so that we had options we want to have options you know sometimes that happens A couple weeks ago I smashed my thumb. The very next day I went back and smashed it in this very same place. Now it's okay to use galvanized nails up here along the top. When it comes to uh, securing this down here on the bottom, I have stainless steel screws. Okay, let's see. Why do I have stainless steel screws? Because of this copper flashing here. There's a reaction, chemical reaction. If you use the a dissimilar material on copper, uh, it has to be approved. The metal that you put over, if it's touching copper, has to be approved. And the, the way to find out that is just by going online and asking what metal can touch copper. we forgot to do we forgot to put a piece of trim across this top here but that's okay oh you know what and we have to put bitch a thing in there too darn it well I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting this and then we're gonna have to do that hmm now see that piece of metal right there that's not enough that's not enough. You know what that means? That means I may have to go back down to the bottom. I wonder if I could just put it in later though. You know, when we come up here with the board, with the buckets and the mud. Maybe I can just do it then. We'll see. See how I feel after I get this done. Let's see how you guys feel. See if you guys want to stick around while I do that. Maybe you want to tune in later. That's going to be black and blue tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it hurts. It hurts. So, oh, I didn't get it. There you go. Okay, so, now, oh, come on. Now we're going to take this, and like we said, we're going to put that like that. Put that right like that. Oh, you know, let's get this tape measure. coverage okay now my axe a couple nails let's not nail too high this time because remember I've put that bitch thing in here on the top um, let's see Whew. what do you think what do you think about cutting on it just like that That'd be pretty cool. That'd be okay, huh? Okay, let's just get another nail in it then. And we'll cut it along the top, I guess. Okay, now, I'll show you what I mean about having to put that bitch thing like this. The bitch thing goes on first before that piece of trim that I have around the outside edge anyway, so. You know, this isn't a total loss here, so we just need to backpedal a little bit. And then, I wonder if that's going to have some sort of a chemical reaction, that nail that I just threw down. 
uh, I wonder if there's going to be some sort of chemical reaction since I, it's going to ultimately end up in the gutter. Uh, so, you know, I wonder if, like when it rains, of course we're, we're not even by the bay really, I mean we're inland quite a ways. This is Vacaville, so you know, you go to Fairfield, which is 15 minutes away that way, and uh, there by the bay, the Susun Bay. That's where we're by the Susun Bay, but Susun is Susun Bay. Susun Bay. Same thing, right? Okay, looking good here. I'm really happy with what we got going here. Okay. Alright, now, I think I have some bitutane up here somewhere. Looks like I got enough, too. That's good. Okay, we'll go ahead and cut the... Should we cut the full length, or just half? Hmm. I think I'm just going to do half. This time, I'm just going to do half. Uh, it's getting kind of warm out. It's hard to work this bitchethane in the heat. That's why they call it bitchethane, because it's a bitch. Yeah, okay. All right. Not too bad in the wintertime, though. Very cooperative, but you know when it gets above 80 degrees, you know, and this stuff can be a little bit difficult to work with. So this fireplace will ultimately have a flue coming up right out of the center. And then a cap made the size of this top here will go over everything you see here. And we're kind of ensuring that the water is not going to creep back up through his cap. His cap will have, I believe it's a two inch drop. It's a two by two, two inches over this. No, no, it's a full cap and it comes down, I think two inches, I think. I don't want to go here. Then I gotta get that piece of metal. I got one little piece over there. There might be a piece on the other side, but I don't think so. I think I'm gonna have to make a trip down the elevator there and get another one. It's not that I don't have the material, but if I gotta go down again, that adds pretty much 15 minutes at least to my day. When I say our day, yours and mine, because hey, I'm not here alone. You guys are here with me. You guys are spending time with me, and I like that. I like you guys spending time with me. I don't want to be here all by myself, out here all by myself, although it is pretty nice out here. There's no place I'd rather be than here right now. <laughs> That's the mother in me. <laughs> There's no place I'd rather be than right here. Shut up. That's the father. Okay. All right. So we need that piece of trim. Let's go get it. Fits like a glove. Yeah, fits like a glove, baby. There you go. All right. Nice. Okay. Now, screw a few into the bottom down there with some stainless steel screws. Okay, with some washers. Let me get that set up. Okay, there's that, and uh, here's some washers, okay, now let's get these, get these screws here, or eight, one inch I think is what we're going to use, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, here we go. So, these aren't 
self tapping screws. Uh, these are just sharpies here. But they seem to cut through the copper like butter. Low torque. It's a low torque drill. Uh -oh. let it defeat you. Do not be defeated by this stuff. Do not let it beat you. It will try. It will wear you down and try to defeat you. But you have to be strong. Uh-oh. You know what's going to happen if I keep doing this? I'm going to lose that tape measure again. Okay, so this time I'm going to lay down because I'm tired. Okay. I'm kind of laying down now. Up here. See if I can do any better on this one. Not that the last one was bad. I love this Ryobi. It's got high torque at low speed. You know how I know this is actually better than a DeWalt? Is because I had a guy come out and he says, No, use my DeWalt, use my DeWalt. So I tried it and it was just too fast. It was too. It had a lot of torque, yeah, but it had you had to be going fast, and you couldn't go slow with the screw. You know, it has to start out real fast. But you know, it's just not not happening. You have to. Uh, I have to. When I do it, I like to start slow and let the torque do the rest. Like. So I need to come back up. Tomorrow I'm going to come back up here with a stapler. I'm going to staple this wire off and get it ready for scratch coat. And the day we scratch it, we take the scaffold down and move on to the next piece, which is right there. That's the next piece. Right down there, that next one. Uh, above the front door and that big uh, picture window right there. That's the next piece. And we already did that garage over there and the front of this house, this big gable right here. We did that last week. I wanted to bring my GoPro out and do that, but it wasn't really a one-man job. That gable is huge. So, and this isn't a one-man job either. It's just that my guy hurt himself, so he couldn't make it out. So, I don't need anybody else really to come out here and watch me do this. So, I just do it by myself. And I kind of love it because I like working by myself. If you guys ever do any work for anybody else, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to give you a, a tip. And that's, if you like working for that person, never miss a day off. Never miss a day off. That is it's a valuable person who works every day. Cause, let me tell you something, because once you miss a day, they might realize they don't need you, and that could be your last day. <sighs> you know how I know? Because I had a guy do that to me. He was... He was floating the acrylic behind me for years, and then one day he just doesn't show up, and I realized, you know what? All these years, I re didn't realize that I didn't really need him. So, uh... We were able to uh, not have to have him do that anymore. But, uh, I mean, he came back for a, a little while. And then he ended up drinking himself to death. So, that's another story. They don't tell you when you become an employer, the guys are going to die. Guys are going to get hurt, and they're not going to be able to work anymore. Guys are going to get sick, and they're not going to be able to work anymore. There's not going to be people that want to do this. 
You know, they don't tell you that. They say, you're not going to find anybody. <laughs> Usually it's families. It's a family affair with this trade, like many others. It's a family affair. It's passed down through the generations. I, myself, am a victim of that. <laughs> I say a victim. But uh, my brother, he was a contractor. I was building boats. And I didn't want to do this. He said, you don't want to put on I said, no, I don't want to do that. So I was building boats, but I was only making five fifty an hour. And then when it came time to get a raise, they didn't want to pay me a raise. But I had a guy who was making five seventy five an hour, and they were paying him a quarter more. He started after I did, but the reason why they were paying him more was because he had a family. You know, so they were paying him a quarter an hour more because he had a family. So anyway, but I just... I thought that was a bull, you know, so, because I, I'd been there longer, I was more experienced, I was a crew leader, uh, you know, so, I, um, I didn't stay, I went and worked, that day I left, I went and worked uh, for my brother right down the street, doubled my money, you know, right away, because I was making five, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, I'm making $12 an hour by the end of the day, and of course, that was back in 1984, so, been doing this a while. I was in the Plasters Local 631 out of Vallejo and now they are affiliated with San Francisco. I think the uh, the hall in Vallejo dissolved. So, but I've been out of there for 30 years. I was a plaster there for six years. Spent six years in the Union working for two or three different outfits maybe more, but um, I liked it, and I never, I never hold a guy away from bettering himself, so if you're not in the union, and you're working for somebody else, you should probably get in the union, that way you get benefits, um, yeah, you get benefits, you know, and it's not so hard, okay, so you see my black paper here, is uh, creating an insulator between the galvanized metal. Okay. Also, I have painted the galvanized metal here, and it's resting on top of that black paper. So, uh, there is quite a bit of insurance I got going on there. I mean, in lieu of making or ordering a piece, ordering a piece of copper, which is <laughs> kind of, I think, ridiculous, you know. We don't need to do that. Nobody's ever going to see it. You know, nobody's ever going to come up here and see that. And it wasn't in my scope of work to do that. And I don't know why I would have to spend four or five hundred dollars on some special material, including shipping, you know, that includes shipping. You know, when uh, we can just do something like this. Nobody's going to see it anyway. Okay. Let's see if I can get this. This is backwards here, because uh, I'm right-handed. I have to lean over the other way to get this. Let's see. I got a lot more to work. I'm not even squeezing it all the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's good enough. So the rest of it we can staple off. And uh, that should be great. I'm going to get a nail in there. Anyway, right here. I'm getting nail right here. Let's see. Got some more nails. Kind of button this up a little better. Stretch that wire out to the corner. Then bend it down. Because we're going to use a brush on that corner. And we don't want these little stickers, is what you call them. I don't want these stickers sticking out and destroying our sponge float. Okay. Okay. Looks good. Got one piece. A stubborn piece over here. I mean, I can get that with a stapler. But... Oh, that was risky. Almost smashed my finger. Not almost. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Get to get all that with a staple. I'm done for the day. We are done for the day. So that's it guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching 
this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. And uh, maybe we'll bring him out here tomorrow and we'll nail this off. But uh, at any rate, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.